I'm Preston Sprett at Sprettronics Learning Lab, and here's another episode of Build, Code, and Film, where we'll use the LEGO Education Spike Essential Kit to build a robot, code that robot, and then film a story involving our characters and our robot. Join me as we get started on an Arctic rover. This is lesson two of our great adventures of Build, Code, and Film. Today we're doing the Arctic ride. This is Leo. Leo likes polar bears. Leo wants to see where the polar bears live. We're gonna build this snowmobile. It will help Leo visit the polar bears. Let's get started. All right, let's build. We start with this little orange piece. And actually, this one looks more like yellow in the Spike Essential bin. Now we have the orange piece the hole right in the middle of it. Now we're going to get some beans. And add a little bit of shape to the front of our snowmobile or the back of our snowmobile, attaching those beams right on this plate. Now for a blue short beam. And then this back beam with lots of holes in it, and this is where our motors are going to attach later on in the build. Now we're going to cover up this body with another yellow plate, and then a larger white square. We'll be putting some of these Technic connector pieces into that blue beam on the back which is going to allow us to attach our motors later on. And we just start at one end and then skip a hole in between each one. Alright, another green beam right across the top. Now for our hub. And the hub is the brains of our robot. Our hub is like a computer that tells our robot what to do. It also has the battery that gives our robot power. And we're gonna attach four green Technic to brick connector pieces to the bottom of this so that our hub can sit right on top of our snowmobile. A lot of times folks try to put these pieces right onto the brick pegs but what we're actually gonna do is put it down in between some pegs, just like that. Now Leo's gonna need somewhere to sit on this bot, and so we're gonna give him this red chair, and we need to add some accessories to our robot, which would be a couple of these little purple pieces on either side. I like to think of these as his cup holders or somewhere to set his research equipment. And then we just need some safety rails to make sure that Leo stays inside the bot and to keep any of the polar bears out. And those will connect our white square to our yellow plate. And now he has a nice spot to sit. Now it's time for us to give this robot the ability to move. For that, we're gonna use two motors. We're gonna start with one motor and we'll put two pegs into that motor, and those two pegs are how we are going to attach the wheel. And then as always, I like to line up the filled circle and the unfilled circle, and then we are going to put our pegs in the top and the bottom. Just like that. And onto those pegs, we will attach one of our Arctic Rover wheels. The way these wheels attach, you have to really think about how is this thing going to move, and we need the wheel to be out on the side. And the rover is going to just plug right in to that part. And we are going to plug this wheel, it looks like I put my base on backwards the first time, so I'm going to flip that around. We're going to plug this right wheel into motor port. And we're going to do that process all over again with our second motor and a second wheel, which is 
then going to give our robot the ability to move. In order for robots to move, the hub, the brains of the robot, talk to the motors and tell the motors when to turn, how fast to turn, and that's what gives robots the ability to move. So we put together our motor and wheel assembly, and now we're ready to attach that to the other side of our snowmobile. And just like last time, we're going to use these two holes on the bottom to plug it in and then plug in to port A. And these cords and these ports allow the hub to talk to the motor and give the motor power. Our motors don't have batteries inside of them. We never need to charge them. They get all their energy from the battery that's inside the hub. We've got some good shape on this robot, but we still need to give it the ability to glide over snow. And so we're gonna use a couple of snowmobile or snowboard plates to allow it to slide over any surface. So our two snow board plates go right up front. And this is a nice way to use two wheels, but still have a wide range of motion for our robot. Finally, let's put Leo inside. You can make your character look however you want. For this one, we're going to give Leo a slick hairdo, followed by some really short legs and the blue shirt. And so Leo's ready to go and explore the Arctic. But we need to build something for Leo to explore. And so our next steps are going to involve building just something you might find in the Arctic, which would be some ice. So we take another square plate, and we're going to collect eventually four of these translucent blue circles that are going to represent our ice. We'll start with one right there, two on the side, and then one on top. Here's our challenge. Make a program. It makes the snowmobile go. We're going to start by connecting our hub, which with this new version of the Spike app is fairly easy. We just press the button up at the top, and then we press the button one time on top of our hub. We'll see that it's working when the light starts flashing. This new version, you have to click open, and we connect it to our hub by clicking pair. We'll know that it's connected and working whenever the light turns solid. We just say back to project, and then the Spike app, since this is our first time building a moving robot with two motors, is going to show us exactly what to do and we just drag up the play button, which means when you start the program, run this code. And now we're gonna be using some pink movement blocks. These are different than last time. Last time we used blue motor blocks. This time we're using some pink movement blocks, which means it's gonna control both motors at the same time. Let's go ahead and click play and see what happens. And there goes our bot. It started to move, but we've only moved forward just one rotation. Let's see that one more time. So now the next thing that we should do, let's change our program for Leo's next trip. Don't, make, don't forget to make sure he can get home. What we like to do now is create a program that allows Leo to drive around. What we'd like to do now is have Leo drive around our polar ice cap looking for polar bears. What we'll need to do is add the code blocks to allow him to go all the way around and then end up back home. How do you think we can do that? What we could do is we could try going forward two times and then making a left turn and seeing does that get him past the ice? One, two, and then he turns. That's cutting it pretty close. I think we should go forward three times. We'll put Leo back at the start block and have him go forward three times, make a left turn, and then go forward three times again. Let's see what that does. Excellent. 
Now, this time, we're going to make him turn left again to go around the ice. But instead of saying to go forward three times, I'd like that motion to be all at once. And so we change the one in there to three. And when he makes that turn, we'll see that he continues to drive rather than stopping between each rotation. One, two, three, left turn. One, two, three, another left turn. And then this time he'll drive forward three full rotations before stopping. We've almost made it back. How would you finish the program to get Leo the rest of the way home around the square? Now for the filming part of our adventure today. We've built our robot. We've coded it so that it can move around. Now we want to film a story to upload to YouTube. And all good stories have five different things. They start with the setting. This is a snowmobile. It's going to take place in the Arctic. Then you need some talking characters. This is Leo. He's going to be our main character. We need to have a problem. Oops, there's a problem. I'm thinking that in our film, we'll have Leo get stuck in a snowstorm and need to figure out how to get back home. The next thing you need whenever you're telling a good story, it needs to have a conclusion or a resolution. It needs to come to an ending. And so our story will end with Leo using some coding on his snowmobile to make it back home. Let's do it. This is Leo. He wants to see some polar bears. He's at the North Pole up in the Arctic. Leo's in the Arctic, it starts to snow, and Leo gets stuck. He needs to create a code to make it back home. He was able to turn around and return back to base. Thank you.